And welcome to the ETF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. The ETF business has grown by leaps and bounds by packaging plain vanilla indexes like the S&P 500 to investors, along with narrower slices of the markets like cybersecurity, clean energy, cloud computing, and other thematic tech ideas. But now the ETF market is seeking to expand by offering narrow bets on individual stocks. Are you ready for a long and short ETF on just Amazon? How about Apple? How about NVIDIA? Let's talk to two of the ETF leaders who are trying to make this happen. Dave Matz is head of product at Direction ETFs. Will Ryan is the CEO of Granite Shares. Dave, in February, you filed for 21 new ETFs, each offering exposure to the daily inverse or leverage returns of a high-profile stock. NVIDIA, Meta, Netflix, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google. How is this going to work, and when does the SEC need to give a thumbs up or down on your application? Yeah, so thanks, Bob. So let's be clear. These funds are not yet available uh, for, uh, for traders today. And the way these funds are intended to work are similar to other leveraged and inverse ETFs that provide daily exposure to either an index or in these filings to single stock ETFs. And I need to emphasize these tools uh, are really for traders because of that daily reset mechanism. So if a trader or investor does not have the ability to monitor their portfolio on a daily basis, these particular instruments are not necessarily for them. With that being said, if they do, they're really, again, intended to function similar to other leverage ETFs that provide amplified exposure both on the upside and on the downside. Now, Will, you're at Granite Shares. Uh, you have also filed for a series of leverage and inverse ETFs here, and you already have a suite of these products operating in Europe. I wonder, though, how receptive the SEC is going to be to all this. Uh, the chair there, Gary Gensler, he's already been wary of leverage and inverse ETFs. He says they can pose risks even to sophisticated investors. Um, can you handicap the odds the SEC will even approve these products? Well, I think, as Dave said, Bob, that, um, you know, the good news is these products, the structure at least, has been around for many, many years. And people are very comfortable with how these products work. And as you rightly pointed out, we've been running a business similar to this in Europe for the last three years. We offer a suite of short and leveraged uh, products on single stocks. And I have to say that it's been very popular with investors. Now, as Dave said, those investors are more short term. They're more trader uh, sophisticated investors by nature, um, but there are just not many ways to accurately express either short-sided uh, bets or long-sided positions on single stocks, at least as conveniently as in the ETF package. And that's what these products do for people. All right. Well, these applications are pending in front of the SEC. Now, we're going to get much more on this, much more on the future of leverage and inverse single stock ETFs with Dave and Will on ETF Edge at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. They'll be joined by Dave Nautic. He's the financial futurist over at ETF Trends. That's coming up. ETFedge.cnbc.com. Halftime. We'll be right back.